Oh, geez, Laurel, uh, you're, you are absolutely correct. Right now, we're just to the south of Dufer, and we can tell you that this fire has already burned 10,000 acres. Hard to believe. Let me step out of the way and give you a live look here at some of the flames and some of the smoke from the South Valley fire. Again, we're just south of Dufer. This is just devastating. This fire is very close to the substation fire from a couple of weeks ago. We know how bad that one was. This community could really use a break. From Sky 8, a scene becoming all too familiar. A wildfire devouring structure after structure while threatening many more, like the home of Colby Bales. It's definitely been a long summer. There's been a lot of fires going on. Bales puts sprinklers on the roof of his family's home. The flames just too close for comfort. Right now, this is a current threat, and then right now there's stuff going on in the back as well, so we're just trying to stop that. The fire, believed to be human-caused, started early Wednesday afternoon. We spoke to a woman who raced out of harm's way as farmers raced towards the danger. They're just awesome, and I just think they should have recognition because half, half these fires would probably be a lot worse if they didn't jump on it. And despite the hard, dangerous work on the ground and in the air, strong winds pushed the South Valley fire to a whopping 3,000 acres in a matter of hours. Several hundred of the burned acres are owned by Paul Shano. We live with fires. I mean, that's part of the wheat industry. You get half fires, but nothing like these have been. These have just been terrible. Terrible indeed. A countless number of homes are in one of the three evacuation zones. All some people can do is rely on their faith. And I've been praying, as many other people are praying, God, please let the wind light up, you know, lighten the wind up for us. It would certainly be a welcome sight for people like Colby Bales, whose family's home is at the mercy of the wind-driven flames. Fingers crossed right now. Looks like it's going decent, but there's still obviously a lot of stuff burning, so we're just trying to stop it right now. All right, back out here live in Wasco County. To give you an idea of just how big this fire is, the flames you're looking at off in the distance right there are on the east side of 197. And we, of course, are on the west side of 197. A lot of flames behind us as well. Firefighters have a tall task ahead of them tonight. They'll be working through the evening, of course. It is worth mentioning that authorities are asking everyone to obey the road closures out here. And lastly, if you don't need to be out here, stay away. Laurel, back to you.